We welcome you back to Sports Center with this breaking news out of college football. The decision has been made by Arch Manning, the number one overall college football recruit, is, has committed to be a Texas Longhorn. Of course, the famous son of Cooper Manning, the eldest Manning brother. Been waiting for a long time to hear where he decides to go, and he has now made his decision. Arch Manning heading to Texas. Let's bring in our college football reporter, Pete Thamel, who joins us now on the phone with this breaking news. And Pete, is, as everyone knows, it had come down to two teams. It was Texas and it was Georgia. In the end, he chooses to be a Longhorn and join Steve Sarkeesian. Uh, why Texas? What have you heard? Well, Sage, I really think the, the, the main factor in this decision, you have to give it credit, is, is Steve Sarkeesian. Steve Sarkeesian is one of the top quarterback coaches and top play callers in all of football. Uh, he's been an NFL offensive coordinator with the Falcons. He was an NFL quarterback coach with the Raiders. And obviously we saw the assembly line of high-end quarterbacks under his tutelage at Alabama from Tuatunga Loyola to Mac Jones. And I really feel like the NFL preparation available for Arch Manning in Austin ended up being the difference maker for Texas. Okay. And again, Georgia was the one that was the second place, I guess, a front runner up there also with Texas. And it's so interesting because obviously Texas is going to the SEC in a couple of years. In 2025, Arch Manning begins at Texas uh, in 2023. Um, what does this do for their program? You mentioned Steve Sarkeesian because this is obviously the biggest recruit that they landed. And as they look ahead to that transition to the SEC, what does this mean for the Longhorns? Well, Sage, uh, Texas went 5-7 and seven last year. They, they lost to Kansas at home. They got blown out at Arkansas, which was a barometer for how far their program needed to go to, to the middle of the pack in the SEC. And what Arch Manning does, he could be their starting quarterback in 2025 when Texas enters the SEC. But most important, he's a centerpiece, he's a face of the program, and he's a recruiting magnet. Uh, you know, pe people at Texas I talked to today feel like there could be a flurry of commitments that follow Arch Manning and skill players who want to play with him. So I really feel like for Texas's program, this is a generationally big day because it really sets them up with the most important building block they could possibly bring in to get them ready for three years from now mm -hmm. when they do enter the SEC. And you mentioned again last season, this has not been the Longhorn program that we all knew from 10, 20 years ago. They have not been consistently winning at the top. That's why Steve Sarkeesian is there to try to change that as we have the dogs barking in the background. Pete Thamel is at the coffee shop this morning, and I know you're going to need it because this story is just getting going. Um, but overall, five and seven last year, uh, Pete. And so how quickly can someone like Arch Manning turn things around? Well, it'll be interesting, Sage. I, I wouldn't think... I wouldn't be surprised if he ends up redshirting. Remember, Eli Manning redshirted when he went to Ole Miss. Uh, Texas has a loaded quarterback room right now. And you have Quinn Ewers, who was the number one quarterback prospect, who transferred from Ohio State after last season. They also have Hudson Card and Malik Murphy, who are both high-end quarterbacks. So the, the, it will be one of the stiffest competitions. Obviously, you know, the chips are going to fall how they do with those, with those battles. But it wouldn't surprise me if, if Arch Manning went there was, there's, the Mannings aren't going to be in a rush because development doesn't always equate to playing right away. So, again, that, there's, a, there's a long way from now until he arrives there, and that quarterback room could, could end up changing a lot. But um, his impact on the field may not be day one immediate because of uh, you know, the competition that he's going to face upon arrival there. It is an excellent high-end quarterback room. And you know what? That's what you need if you're going to be a great one for sure. We'll end on this because it's so interesting when you look at uh, the, the Manning family, of course, Eli at Ole Miss, Peyton at Tennessee, and, and then you have Arch who everybody says, hey, he's going to do things his way. As, a, as the Manning family, how do you think this decision plays out? Well, I think in the Manning family, they'll have plenty of time to chat about it because the Manning camp happens to be this weekend down in Thibodeau, Louisiana. They get thousands of campers from around the country to come. It's sort of the Manning celebration of the Mannings, if you will. And uh, I, I think this is Arch choosing his own path and, yeah. and forging his own way. And I, I think it's really cool. I think it's, uh, you know, I think it's one of the most compelling storylines that we'll have to follow in college football the next few years. You obviously have this collision of this rare talent, storied family, and now they're reuniting with a program that, quite frankly, needs to rebuild. And uh, he's going to be one of the faces of that um, as Steve Sarkeesian attempts to get Texas back, as everybody likes to joke.
Yeah, the uh, royal family in college football, and Arch Manning has made his decision. He is going to join Steve Sarkeesian at Texas. What a massive day for that program as this news breaks here on Sports Center. Pete Thamel, joining us live. Thank you. Go get that coffee. We'll talk to you soon. <laughs> hey, thank you, Steve. Thank you, thank you. Again, the family legacy really continues, following in the footsteps of Eli, Peyton, and Archie uh, by going to play college football. Of course, we know what the next level would bring as well. We will see where this young man's name ends up in the Manning family legacy. Arch Manning, going to Texas. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.